Righto, another Banggood product. I thought, well, while I'm clearing my benches and bits, let's have a look at this little um, oscilloscope, portable oscilloscope. It comes with a nice little book, and um, this uh, rates it at 100 meg. Hang on, I'll just I'll see if I can open my book to the right page. Um, and uh, I, um, oh boy, have a nice little booklet that, uh, yep, 100 meg analog. Um, with full trigger etc interesting uh, always interesting to see just exactly how these sort of things go so I'm just sniffing a signal off it at the moment through a clean RF box and um, and I'm just using a old uh, TS440 which we use mainly for just listening and doing things in here and um, let's just have a look at three megs which should be an easy feat for it to do one two one two one two three four five one two certainly does that easy enough all right so let's go up in frequency a bit, I don't know, let's go up to 14, keep in mind we're on dummy load guys, so if I'm not quite in the handband, well I'll, I'll effectively try and make sure we are, oh goodness, talk about slow, righto, so we'll take it down about there, that'll do nicely, okay so what are we on, 14, 2, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, lost a little bit of amplitude there as you can see, but I suppose we can just hang on one two. Um, we want to bring that up. We can just go up that one two three. No, I'm hitting the wrong one. Let's go backwards. Let's go up one two one two three four. If I want to get a bit more amplitude into that, okay. So fourteen megs. Yep, one two three four five. Okay, interesting. All right. So let's take it up to twenty eight point two two four. All right. So I'm just curious to see whether it. Um, Still is, is act oh actually that's quite good. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Alright, so that's just me sniffing a bit of RF with it. Um, I've already actually sat there and done some voltage checks with it, and it's highly accurate with that. People rather see bouncing circles uh, than um, voltage checks, I think. Uh, but uh, we can actually run a couple other things into it, I'm sure. Uh, where's my regular analyzer? Oh, not the analyzer, the um, waveform generator that's over in that mess over there right okay probably a bit too hard to get over to that at the moment but um, let's have a look okay so we're just putting in one kilohertz um, into it and we're just having a look and have a look at the display there one kilohertz and uh, looks pretty much like a sine wave so yeah look that's that's working well uh, we can obviously change that and square wave at one kilohertz we can ramp it like so Pulse, like so. Noise, <laughs> up, and back to. Okay, so now we're giving it five volts peak to peak, and what have we got there? VPP is five volts, five point oh four. We'll call that a win. So, what a great little handheld device, though. It comes with. Um, going to sound like I'm going to be like the Banggood salesperson soon, but. It comes with a nice probe. Um, I've checked the probe out, works fine. Um, USB cable, little clip on for your probe uh, to uh, be able to clip on to components. And um, look, you know, if you're sort of trying to think to yourself, why would I need this um, <laughs> when you've got, you know, crows and bits everywhere, um, uh, that's a really good question. But I was curious just to find out. I'm going to call this my under $100 session. What can you buy for under $100 uh, and what does it do? And look, seriously, um, this was about, I think it was $69. Uh, it wasn't a lot of money. And um, look, its accuracy is great. It's doing what it should do. Um, so, you know, you can sniff a bit of RF up to 100 megs off, off it. Now, we've only taken it up to 28 megs, to be fair. Uh, but just everything I was seeing there, um, uh, you know, look, it's, it's looking quite, uh, quite possible that it might even get up there to 100 megs. Um, I'm not even challenged to try and um, see if it does because uh, quite seriously most of you will have applications up to about um, 50 megs and that's about it and um, you know you'll be able to do the way through but anyway nice little uh, device just um, just something worth you know having a bit of a look at and um, certainly I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a look at some of the oh it's just doing edge there yep yep fair enough uh, it's got a full menu in there for uh, various different measurements uh, but nice absolutely easy to use and as you can see not hard to uh, to uh, run a sniffer off and uh, if you wanted to check a, a a car out in the radio uh, sorry radio out in the car get it right uh, you could seriously just run this off a sniffer and have a quick look and just see what's going on 
and uh, I think you'd get a, you know, a basic enough sort of shot to see whether or not uh, you had a problem. So anyway, just another little portable device. Um, I've been going a bit crazy with, uh, with uh, late nights and Banggood and etc. There's all the official specs by the way. Um, so quite seriously, if it does half of what it does, it'll probably meet most of the, um, the user's needs um, uh, quite, uh, quite well. Probably people will have the trouble, uh, trouble with the bandwidth, you know, at 100 megs, whether or not it's actually getting all the way up there. Um, and look, I might be a little bit sus too, but um, I don't have, oh, I do have, actually, let's have a quick look. So this is a really crude test. <laughs> not even connected, just so you can see. I'm just kind of curious uh, if we uh, knock out a little five watt signal. Yeah, it's not gonna pick up a frequency, is it? No. No, uh, seeing it though. Ah, uh, anyway, so I just a little silly thing that I thought I'd do for the hell of it, <laughs> but um, I haven't got time to uh, sit here and set up um, uh, some bits and pieces to uh, test the hundred meg theory uh, with this one. But uh, but I would say just having a bit of a look at that, it's probably you know probably fairly close. It's certainly seeing something up around one hundred and forty meg. So, um, but um, uh, believe me, I'm having to run at fifty millivolts to uh, to to see that. And um, uh, so, yes, we, we'd definitely be better to couple a, you know, a, a signal off uh, one of these fellas here with something that uh, might be able to give us a little bit more definition. Anyway, a bit of fun. This is definitely uh, a great little device for next to nothing, you know, as far as money's concerned. Uh, certainly, uh, you're probably interested in what they're actually called, I suppose. Um, it's an ADS5012H. I'm just trying to think if... They were branded as such. You know what? Um, that's a really good question. Hang on, let me take the cover off. Okay, so not really much more information when I took the cover off. They were either an Aneng, A-N-E-N-G, I think, or... No, sorry, there it is. Um, that, that was the one I saw that on uh, Banggood. Oh, if you can see that. D-A-N-I-U. That's right. So there you go. There's a little sort of play device that you could keep in the back of the car and <laughs> you know, if you, you need to check a few voltages, um, check your audio system out at the same time, and uh, and also check your RF transmitter. Uh, remember, no direct connections to these things. You'll need to sniff a bit of RF off um, with like the little boxes that we have here, because um, uh, you will blow these things sky high. Otherwise, anyway, that's a little, little bit of fun. 73 is all the best from VK3CM. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll uh, get something up again soon. Cheers.